everyone, uh, today we're going to try something exciting. Um, we have this Google SketchUp model right here, and we're going to make it photorealistic. Now, this is not an easy task to do with Google SketchUp, so we'll need some help from some other free software available on the internet. Okay, so here I have sort of a stage I've just built, uh, for my school actually, but in any case, just a stage, textured fairly simply. Uh, so once you have your model done, it doesn't have to be the stage, it could be anything. Uh, go ahead and save it, and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so with those two things downloaded, and with the latest version of Mac OS X, you should have no problem installing uh, the Kirkathea. Now, to install the plugin for Google SketchUp, it requires you to find the plugin in your Downloads folder. And once you have found it, uh, simply copy the files found in here, which would be this and this folder here, and put them in Macintosh HD under Library, Application Support, and SketchUp 7. SketchUp and Plugins. And just copy and paste them into there, as I have here and here. After that, simply restart SketchUp. And you should notice, if installed correctly, that under the plugins you now have a Kirkathea exporter option. Now basically what this is going to do is it's going to export your model as an XML file, which is something the Kirkathea application can read. Now the easiest way to do this is simply to click Export Model. Once you've clicked Export Model, it comes up with some export options. Uh, the easiest for, thing for beginners is just to leave the export options as they are and hit OK you'll be prompted with a save to screen. I'll just save mine as castle.xml and hit save. Now it may take a while depending on the amount of textures and the complexity of your model, but once it's done, you'll come up with a pop-up asking you if you want to open the exported model. Click yes. In a few minutes, you'll notice the X11 icon at the bottom, and Kirkathea will open. Now, when Kirkathea first opens, you will notice that it's um, a wireframe, and you will also notice that you have this sort of blue box going around your model. This is essentially like the uh, viewer of a camera with SketchUp. If you right-click on your mouse, you can pan and zoom in, zoom out again. I'm just going to set up my angle until I'm happy with it here. There we go, so here I've set up my model uh, from the angle I wish to take a picture. Now, the next step is to go render here and set up. Uh, now, you'll probably want to leave this the way it is initially, but it's good showing you this just for a future reference. Uh, production A is probably what you want to go with. And then hit start render. Now, you'll come up with something like this. Um, there are different types of renders you can do. Uh, so if you hit settings, we will go with uh, photon map high. Now this will just give you a realistic um, sort of view. Now I'll just hit apply and yes to save my changes there and hit OK. Now you'll notice that at the bottom there'll be a counter saying how much time has elapsed. And eventually you'll get to see the image once it is complete. If you click quick view. So uh, after a few minutes, uh, you'll say ready at the bottom again. 
and you know that your picture will be done. And you'll see a small preview down here, and you can see the full image if you click image. Now, as you can see, the render comes out beautifully. It's fo semi photorealistic. Of course, there are many options you can play here, messing with your exposure. And of course, you can save the image to export it as a JPEG or other file format. Now, of course, and that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, check us out on our website if you have time. Thanks.